Is there a lot of animal research going on for, into ALS? Apparently there is. I just took a look at a Jackson Laboratory, you know, that's the great, you know, the mouse lab. Um, and they have in at Bar least, Harbor. in Bar Harbor, right. they have created, inbred at least four different varieties of mice to mimic symptoms of ALS. So, and how do you feel about them using, using mice to, well, they're just mice. From a selfish point of view, it doesn't seem to be helping. But from an ethical point of view, even if it were, I would have to say it was wrong. It's wrong. It is wrong. It's morally wrong. So, so many times when I've been out protesting in front of a lab or something, you'll have people stop and they'll say something like, well, if it was your, you know, if it was your child or something, then you'd change your mind. Or if you had some sort of a disease, you'd change your mind. But you're telling me that you're not ready to change your mind. No. I made up my mind before I had this. The arguments still seem good. I want to say that I will stick with my principles, even though I suppose anybody can be tempted, you know, in the grips of a horrible disease. Sure. But it's wrong. If, if something is morally um, appalling, which I think is a good word for what we do to animals. <laughs> I mean, right here at UW, Harry Harlow showed us how similar primates are to us while he was doing the most horrible things to them. I mean, the disconnect there is just amazing, you know? Maybe you get this stuff because you were a philosophy teacher and maybe it's too hard for regular people. I don't know, I taught regular people. Yeah. Uh, including teaching at Oxford Federal Correctional. The teaching prison, inmates. Teaching inmates. Wow. And, you know, who didn't exactly have the best reputation anyway for being upstanding and they could see the they could see the arguments. Huh. Wow. So here's a question that's often thrown out. Well, if they found a if, if they found a cure tomorrow and the person who was one of the claims was is that because of one of those those mouse models at Jackson Lab that they somebody claimed that that led to a, a big breakthrough and they came up with a pill that cured you overnight. Wouldn't you take it? I, if I took it, I would, I would not feel that its efficacy was due to the animal research. I'd be very suspicious of that. But also I had, you know, I wouldn't have had any choice in choosing my, you know, my pill. I'd like it if they would, if they would use epidemiological studies and observation which I think would be much more efficacious to find a cure. And then I could feel much more comfortable about the end point. Sure. But, I, you know, there's nothing nowadays, including aspirin, that, that hasn't been touched somewhere along the line. Somebody tried to make a better enteric coating right. and, you know, killed many multiple animals. And, you know, there's nothing that we can touch that hasn't been sullied by somebody's you know, use of animals on it. So I don't think that I would necessarily refuse, right. although I would be sad at what had been done in supposedly in my name, although I don't think it's in my name. I think it's in the name of research and grants. Right. So Helene, is, is, there, is there anything else I should ask you? Is there, what do you think? Well. What do you want to Since say? Since I'm Maybe the ethics this is kind teacher. Of your, yeah, you're the ethics I'm teacher, the ethics so you teacher. tell us. I would just say that my position is based on the idea that any being that is capable of having a preference, and that would include any sentient being, us, mice, primates, that has to be respected. There have to be really serious reasons to override the preference of a being. That's basic. I think it's basic applied Kantian philosophy. It's not utilitarian because you can't, you can't use utilitarianism thoroughly in ethics. It might deal with some surface things, but you know, if I were going to say utilitarianism says the best thing is what's useful for bringing about the most happiness. The best thing for the happiness of ALS people 
would be to find a cure using human models. We could find a lot of unpopular people that we could use as models, and they'd probably find something much more quickly. The thing is that research using humans is currently unthinkable. Well, almost. I mean, there's Tuskegee and there's Dr. Mengele, but mostly it's unthinkable. And but the, and research the with that animals is thinkable. And I'd like to see research on animals become as unthinkable as stealing the kids next door. Sure. You know, to torture them. There is a little bit of research done at Covance with people. Um, well, they do have the chance to opt out and they get paid and they, they, they give consent. Right. And dogs, we can't ask them for yeah. consent. And as a matter of fact, they seem to withhold consent because if you opened their cages, they would not probably stay. Right. They're telling you what they want, what their preferences are.